It is anti-Jewish hate crimes. And Harvard ranks the lowest when it comes to protecting Jewish students. This is why I've called for your resignation. receive support from and our alumni from all over the and world, that support, from individuals. And what amount of support is that reported to the federal government? I'd have to actually look at our filings. You I, don't know? As the president of the university, you don't know? Not that particular number. It's no, $1.5 billion dollars over the past three years. Are you aware of that? <laughs> It's been standard protocol at the university for years to only fly the American flag unless we have a visiting dignitary. Uh, so the decision was made to allow the Ukraine flag to be flown over Harvard Yard? That was a decision that was made by my predecessor as an exception to a long-standing rule. So it was an exception. So you made an exception for the Ukrainian flag, but not the, the university made an exception for the Ukrainian flag, but not the Israeli flag. That was a choice made by my predecessor. Um, are you aware that there are stickers that are placed on Harvard University Dining Services food calling for Israeli apartheid? It says, warning, Sabra funds Israeli apartheid and the murder of Palestinians. Is that acceptable? I can assure you that we have strong disciplinary processes when there are violations of our rules. And this is a violation of the rules? I can't see that very clearly. The free expression of views, at the very least, views, whether fact or truth, I guess we'll leave that to understanding. But nonetheless, they were removed from their positions. And I think that sends a message, a message in this case with Jewish students, that they're of less importance. Dr. Kornbluth, yes. does M at MIT, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate MIT's code of conduct or rules regarding bullying and harassment, yes or no? If targeted at individuals not making public statements. Yes or no? Calling for the genocide of Jews does have, not constitute bullying and harassment? I have not heard calling for the genocide for Jews on our campus. But you've heard chants for intifada. I've heard chants, which can be anti-Semitic depending on the context, when calling for the elimination of the Jewish people. So those would not be according to the MIT's code of conduct or rules? That would be um, investigated of, as, as harassment, if pervasive and severe. Ms. McGill, at Penn, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's rules or code of conduct? Yes or no? If the speech turns into conduct, it can be harassment, yes. I, I am asking specifically calling for the genocide of Jews, does that constitute bullying or harassment? If it is directed and severe or pervasive, it is harassment. So the answer is yes. It is a context-dependent decision, Congresswoman. It's a context-dependent decision. That's your testimony today. Calling for the genocide of Jews is depending upon the context. That is not bullying or harassment. This is the easiest question to answer yes, Ms. McGill. So is your if testimony it, that it, you will not answer yes? If it uh, is, if the, yes speech becomes, no. if the speech becomes conduct, it can be harassment, yes. Conduct meaning committing the act of genocide? The speech is not harassment? This is unacceptable, Ms. McGill. I'm gonna give you one more opportunity for the world to see your answer. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Penn's code of conduct when it comes to bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be harassment. The answer is yes. And Dr. Gay, at Harvard, does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? It can be, depending on the context. What's the context? Targeted as an individual, targeted as, at an individual. 
It's targeted at Jewish students, Jewish individuals. Do you understand your testimony is dehumanizing them? Do you understand that dehumanization is part of anti-Semitism? I will ask you one more time. Does calling for the genocide of Jews violate Harvard's rules of bullying and harassment? Yes or no? Anti-Semitic rhetoric. When it and is it anti-Semitic rhetoric? Anti-Semitic rhetoric when it crosses into conduct that amounts to bullying, harassment, intimidation, that is actionable conduct and we do take action. So the answer is yes, that calling for the genocide of Jews violates Harvard Code of Conduct, correct? Again, it depends on the context. It does not depend on the context. The answer is yes, and this is why you should resign. These are unacceptable answers across the board. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews, and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.